Howdy, everybody. This is Leo Claudio with Malice Toward None. It's indeed a pleasure to have his guest here today. Fellow well-known in Major League Baseball, the manager of the Texas Rangers. I'd like to welcome to our show, Skipper Whitey Herzog. Leo, glad to be here and glad to chat with you. Well, thank you very much. Certainly a pleasure to have you with me here tonight. Uh, Whitey, you've added a phenom to this ball club, it looks like, in the person of Dave Clyde, who gave a tremendous performance at Fenway Park the other night. Well, he certainly has. He's come up here out of high school, and he started four times for me, and he's really given me three outstanding performances and the other day in uh, Milwaukee he did get hit a little bit but I found out later they did have all our pitches so I can't condemn him for that but he really has been an outstanding kid. Whitey, 18 years of age, 187, 6 feet 1, he probably is one of the best prospects you've seen in your many years in baseball? Well I would rate him uh, like in the Met organization in the last six years I have seen all the top prospects in the country and as far as left-hand pitches were concerned ability-wise I would rate him with McGraw, Matlack, Gullett and those kind of people. Now. I've had two of those boys myself and out of high school, and I know that this boy is very mental mature, and uh, uh, John Matlack was also very far along, but at the time when we signed him, we didn't need pitching at the time. We had Seaver, Kuzman, Gentry, McAndrew, and uh, we weren't in dire need, but I think John probably could have went to the big leagues and done a credible job. Uh, he had things like his fielding and holding runners on that he, it took him some time to acquire, but this boy picks up things very fast, and he's done a good job, and as long as I can keep him in rotation, Leo, he's going to stay here with me. And why do you have him in rotation now, and what are your plans for him now? For instance, the other night in Boston, I believe you let him pitch 104 balls, and is that pretty much uh, your primary plans? Well, not really. You know, in high school, you only pitch seven innings, and uh, he had already pitched 150 innings this year when we signed him. And uh, I really don't think a young arm should go much over 225, and, uh, and I don't want to hurt this boy. Now, the reason I took him out the other night, he gave me six very good innings, and if I'd have been in another ballpark, I'd have let him go a little bit further. But uh, I didn't see any sense at all uh, for a performance like that to be ruined if I would let him go another inning and he'd give up two or three runs. Why do you, for a youngster of 18 years of age and a left-hander, that performance in Fenway Park was something else, no bases on ball? Well, eight strikeouts, no walks. I mean, I don't have any pitchers that have done that for me. Of course, Sonny's had a couple of games in double figures and strikeouts, but... Most of the time in our pitching staff has been eight walks and, and no strikeouts. And uh, that's been one of our big problems this year is that we haven't struck out people when we've had to and we've walked too many people that when we do give up a hit or two, it always means some runs. Whitey, this youngster, uh, of course, he's in a dream right now, but he seems to have the attitude and, of course, the desire and determination, all three requisites for Major League Baseball. Well, I think that uh, any young boy that signs a contract, uh, instead of just wanting to be a big leaguer, if he would want to be the best big leaguer, I think he'll succeed. That's the way Gibson is. That's the way Tom Seaver is. And when you have that type of desire, of course, you will succeed, as long as you keep working and keep trying if the ability is there. I think this is what this boy has going for him. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you here, like always, and I certainly want to take this opportunity to wish you worlds of luck and get that pennant soon and into that World Series. Well, thank you, Ed. Leo. I enjoyed talking to you. Thank you very much, Whitey. This was an interview with Whitey Herzog, the manager of the Texas Rangers, and this brings us to the end of what matters to it for today. Until tomorrow at the same time, Leo Claudia, good day. To learn more about Leo Cloutier's sports world, go to leocloutier.com. Leo Cloutier is brought to you by PosterFix, where we bring your vintage posters back to life.